hello friends uh, in this video I will show you how to create a form and how can we style a form uh, I am taking an example in which I will take some controls and then I will style it out with the help of CSS so please uh, let us start I am going to create a form and in the form I will create a username and input type is equals to text and I'm going to create a simple login form so please look and I'm going to save this to my desktop form demo and I'm going to display you the output of what I'm doing next thing is uh, password and uh, that will take input type is equals to password I have already told you that what is the difference between the two it will display me a text box in which uh, text will not be displayed and one more thing uh, I am going to add a new thing that is called choose a role that will be selected by the user from the list and I'm going to create a drop down list for this one administrator and the next thing is a simple user a yeah, local user whatever you want to provide and the last thing is input type is equals to uh, submit and value is equals to login we all knows about it very good now dr i am ready for my next thing i am going to convert this all form to an attractive form so how can we do that so let us start styling my form this is how we do this I have a form control I know that I but uh, remember one thing what I have to do I am going to provide the background color I am going to provide the background color to pink suppose pink nice uh, light color should be better now you can see that width of my form control is just 100% that means this is a block control so what I need to do, I am going to customize my width to 400 pixels. Ah, that will be sufficient. I am going to provide the margin auto that will make my form into the center. And uh, one more thing, here, how can we adjust these kind of things? They cannot be accessed directly. So what we have to do, we will put my these controls into the label. So i am putting my these values into the label look at this so what we have to do again the same thing label and password i am going to remove this so you have to remember that uh, all your text must be put uh -oh. all your text must be put uh, within the label control label is nothing but uh, we basically use labels in order to format the text otherwise how can we touch these kind of text so nothing to do and uh, look at that there is no difference that has been done so what we have to do i have to adjust the label so i am going to provide the width of the label to 100 and uh, 20 pixels let's say oh this is not taking the width why because it means it is our inline control and if we want to provide the width then we have to convert this to inline block because only block element can be used to take the width so you can see now we are ready so let's provide some padding in the forms uh, let's say 50 uh, 20 pixel will be sufficient now looks better now you can see that there is a uh, cool width we can provide the alignment text align to uh, right because we what we want to do we want to put my labels text uh, just right side the controls look at this fine now what we have to do i want to 
प्रोवाइड द सेटिंग्स फॉर माय दीज थ्री कंट्रोल्स तो हाउ कैन वी डू दैट दीज आर थ्री डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ एलिमेंट फर्स्ट इज टाइप इज इक्वल टू टैग्स सेकंड इज टाइप इज इक्वल टू पासवर्ड एंड थर्ड इज द डिफरेंट टैग सेलेक्ट टैग सो व्हाट वी हैव टू डू आई एम गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड अ कॉमन थिंग दैट इज कॉल्ड क्लास एंड कंट्रोल्स क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू ऐड अ न्यू थिंग कॉल्ड कंट्रोल्स क्लास सो हाउ कैन वी डू दैट class is equal to controls now i will provide values to all the trees with the help of this class because i have chosen the class because class can be uh, taken multiple times so i can provide it i am using class file so in my controls class i am going to provide the padding first of all Five pixel padding. Let us see what will happen in my form. Fine, you can see my padding is applied more to my all the three controls. So I am going to provide the width. Uh, let us say two hundred pixels. What will happen now? You can see that all the three controls have the same width. All the three controls have the same width, but they are just. Uh, very close to each other we i want to provide the gap and how can we provide the gap we can provide the gap with the help of margin but not from the all sides but only from the bottom the gap will be provided from the bottom uh, let us say 5 pixels if we need we will increase now this is nice looking gap good this is what we wanted and one more thing i want to provide is font family to vardana because i am i do not like this font times new roman this is looks good now all the labels and text to get my vardana font because i have provided to parent control and the child will take its properties so what we want to do now we comes to is this login form login button how can we adjust this login button i am going to create a class say btn i am going to create a class say btn dot btn this class what we will do i am going to provide the padding of 5 pixels and look at this what will happen i am going to provide the width what will happen let us say 100 pixels and look at this so what i want i want to put it here so how can we do that margin left from the left we are providing the margin let's say 100 pixels let's see wow we needs to provide one more thing 200 pixels good some more thing 230 pixels good we have produced some pixels 225 pixels now it's look better so this is the way how can we create the simple login form and one more thing that we can use here is that uh, we can add just one more thing what i want whenever i focus on this one it will convert my background color it will change the background color to say sky blue so how can we do that dot controls dot controls that belongs to my these three controls colon not over effect this cannot be done with the help of over over means just uh, putting my cursor over my control and it will do something it will change their look but i don't want i want whenever i got focus whenever my controls got focus my controls got focus whenever i click on this one so this one or i press tab key so i want background color should be changed to sky blue my background color should be changed to sky blue let's see tab okay tab okay tab we can choose so this is the main thing that we can do we can also provide a border to none nice looking good this looks much better and uh, let us say let's reduce some width because this is not looking so much good good and if you want to provide there is a gap from the top we can provide margin auto will take only left and right values and top and bottom values can be provided just before it 
this value will take margin from the top and bottom and look at this what will happen fine so we can do now we want some nice uh, rounded corners from of the forms so i am going to form and then provide border radius <coughs> this is css3 property so 20 <coughs> pixel <coughs> this is nice looking uh, fine padding i am going to increase the padding 40 pixels hmm nice looking fine so we can create a form in this way we can provide a nice background also how can we do this kind of thing suppose i want to provide a nice looking background to my form how can we do that so what i basically do i am searching i am looking for an image and uh, i have an image on my desktop uh, where i have stored my form the image name is test.jpg so what i have to do is that i am going to apply this image on my body so how can we do that background uh, sorry background not my background image and the url will be because i have copied it from uh, on the same location test.jpg i am providing the url test.jpg and look at this what will happen wow you can see but there is a okay this is style effect we, can, we i don't want so how can we overcome this kind of thing background uh, this is not displaying me background i have to add background size is cover that means fully cover now you can see this is the nice looking but what i want this frame this frame should be be should become some transparency in order to um, uh, mix up this background so how can we do that we have apply a color right so in my HTML uh, CSS3 we have one more thing RGBA style RGBA stands for red green blue red stands for red I don't want to provide red value green I don't want to provide green but blue I want because my background is little bit green Oh, sorry blue so i am providing the 255 value red green blue and then the opacity value to 0 0.5 look at this what will happen now nice looking blue fine if you want to provide more transparency then provide a lesser value and look at this nice looking form you can see uh, one more thing I want to provide a border I want to provide a border two pixel two pixel solid and white and look at this this is nice looking form we can create with the help of CSS thank you very much you can enjoy my videos and I will update all the videos as soon as